Welcome back to What Arty Noobs. And uh, you're looking at a 105 Lift H18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, which we know as Fifi La Piu Piu, which other players know as a Leffy or a Leaf Blower. It's, um, well, it's quite a terror. This one is on the north spawn of Malinovka encounter, and it's under the command of Zoe Balls. And I believe she's actually on her NA account. Well, she's headed off to her favourite firing position. At least I think she is. Yep, this is her favourite one. I've seen her fire from here before. I shouldn't really give away this position because uh, it does make her a little vulnerable if she uh, is playing this tank on this map. She's gone to overhead view. Okay, right, well, she's waiting for an enemy target and there's one popped into sight. It's a T-34-85. But um, she's not aiming at it yet. Now she is. Oh, just sorting herself out. Okay, dialing in on target. Rounds out. Direct hit. Beautiful shot. She's got an 8.02 second reload. She's uh, not using premium consumables on this one. And she gets another hit. 144 this time. And she's in platoon with Bone Collector in the T-3485M. And that's a kill shot. So, first kill for her team goes to Zoe. Now, Zoe Balls, you may know, is the uh, clan commander of Reborn. And she's got a lot of What Are Tea Noobs players on her team. On her clan, rather. Rounds out in the T-50. Looks good. Long time for the shell to fly. She's trying to line up another shot. Rounds out. 3.3 seconds is the flight time. Seven hit points there off the front and it looks like it tracked him. She has to give a fairly good lead on the target to make sure the shell impacts. And that one did. 30 hit points. Now the T-150 is fairly heavily armoured and I think this time she tracked him. His repair kit is, is on cooldown and he goes down. So she didn't get the kill but she did contribute a lot to it. Fires another round in there at an un unseen target. I think she's guessing where he is. Fires another one. Ah, it's the bishop. And she just got the kill on him. She must have seen the tracer. She's got a direct hit to take him out of the game. She's now going for the 88. And she gets a hit on his engine deck. Go for another one. Rounds out. Hits the rock face this time. So they say it's a long flight time for the shell. 3.1 seconds for the shell to reach the target. It's flying right over the battlefield from one side to the other. She's dialed in. Rounds out. Now the great thing about the Fifi is that it does dial in on the target. Re-aim as quickly as it loads. So you're normally able to get accurate shot after accurate shot on the enemy. Fires another shot, the 88. She is actually running short on high explosive ammo now. She's only down to eight rounds. Going for the M10 RBFM. Just falls behind him. Seven rounds of HE left. Pulls back just a little. Enough to avoid the shell. It might be a good idea to Zoe to load some of those AP rounds she's loaded. Fires around at the 88. Lands right next door to him. Rounds out again. Should hit the engine deck. It does. 148. And he did take a lot of damage just after that. So she might actually get some damage assist off that. He's still there. She's only got three rounds of HE left, and oh, unfortunately, she fired that last round in. She's now got two rounds of HE left, ten rounds of heat, and eight rounds of AP. This is one of the only RTs in the game that can actually carry, in fact, it is the only RT in the game that can carry heat as well as a, uh, AP. 
course, we would like that to change. We'd love Wargaming to actually bring more premium RT into the game. And we've even suggested which tanks they should do that with. Which RT? Okay, she's run out of um, AP, uh, HE. She's now firing heat rounds. So she needs to make sure these shots hit the target because it can be rather expensive if she doesn't. Round out on the K, uh, Panzer 3K. That one missed. The one good thing about the heat rounds is it does penetrate a lot more armor. And you can see there the result. Now she didn't get the kill, but she did do some damage. She's going for the M4 improved. Dialing it in. Here we go. Rounds out. Oh, hits the ground just in front of him. These heat rounds are very expensive, but they do go through a lot of armor. She would be better off actually firing the AP at the moment. These tanks are lightly armored enough that she might be able to easily pen them with a 105mm shell. She's auto aimed onto the M4 who's cutting across her field of fire. If he's coming straight towards her she should be able to get a direct hit but that one didn't go through. Okay there's only there's five left on the enemy team three four on her team. Oh, she tried a, a auto aim there, but didn't work. She's been hit twice by the T-34. And the kill shot goes to our GW Panther. Zoe's down to half her hit points. Less than half, actually. 38%. She's got four rounds of heat and eight rounds of AP. But she does have two kills and... Presumably 1,326 hit points of damage. Well, somebody is capping in the cap. It is an encounter game, so it takes longer to cap. And the T-34 is going down to have a quick look to see where they are. Now, Zoe's loaded a heat round. If they find out where the tank is, and if he's stationary, she should be able to get a direct hit on him. Oh, now that was expensive. She's trying speculative shots at the moment. I wouldn't do that with the heat though, it's just too expensive really. And well they found one of the enemy tanks, it's a gorilla. The enemy arty. She's dialing in. Oh she fires snap and unfortunately makes a hole in the ground because it wasn't fully dialed in. You need to be fully dialed in to get the full effect. Rounds out, this will hit. Oh it doesn't, it goes to one side. And there's the enemy tank, it's a T-67. She's run out of heat, now she's firing AP. Now the M10 RBFM's nearby her, but he hasn't gone in. He needs to go in and spot for her. He's not doing it. Now Zoe does have a view range of 390 meters, which is probably greater than that of the M10, but of course she is very vulnerable to enemy fire. She lost half her hit points already, and if the enemy works out where she is, she'll probably get taken out of the game. But she's guessing where the enemy might be at the moment. She really needs that M10 to go in and spot. The M10 slowly moving towards the enemy. There's only the one in the cap at the moment, but if they get two in the cap, it could be a real problem. We know it's a T-67. So he says she only has six shots left. And of course she has to make those shots direct hits in order to make it work. She just simply cannot see the enemy. There he is, there's the T-67. She works out where he's headed, fires around in and Kill shot! 105mm round does do a lot of damage, even if it's only armor piercing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're trying to see where that gorilla is. He was last seen up on top of the hill. Having a quick look at the cap area. He's probably still up there, but the enemy has got an M10 RBFM. An M12 and that Griller. 
There's still five minutes left. But if I was in one of the enemy tanks, I'd be getting close. And there is one of the enemy tanks. It's the tank destroyer. It's the M10 RBFM. So he fires a round in. And potentially that's a high caliber. She shot him right in the rear. He couldn't see her, but she saw him. And unfortunately, we just lost our M10 RBFM. That means it's RT versus RT. And of course, Zoe is an expert RT player. So four kills so far for Zoe. I think what she'll try to do is probably try to go into the gap. She's only got four rounds left anyway. The GW Panther's coming down to join her. And she said, cover me. They could still win this. But Zoe needs to get into the cap. Before 3 minutes 40 seconds. Or they just simply won't be able to cap out one of them on their own. They would need both of them. GW Panthers following her in. And there's the M12. And he's almost at the cap. And I don't think he can see them. But she can certainly see him. That's perfectly on target. Direct hit. 319 hit points. She was seen that time. He fires and misses. Zoe's going to go for another shot. At least I hope she is. And she gets the kill. Oh, and Z was wiped out by the gorilla. But at least she knows where the gorilla is. He's actually behind the uh, GW. <coughs> He's further up the hill. GW is going into the cap, but it sort of indicates to me that the gorilla is actually further away from the cap. Much further away from the cap. He might not be able to see the GW, let alone to take him out. And, yeah, Zoe was a bit disappointed she got killed, but she knows how many hit points the gorilla's got left. Because she remembers that from when she was shooting at him. I'm not sure the GW has enough time to cap out. No, he definitely doesn't. There's a slight discrepancy. I think you can see it. I also wouldn't park there because that's the most obvious place that any RT player will aim straight for. The best place to actually sit would be directly behind the camp. Because somebody still left it there. <laughs> I'm pretty certain that Griller is going to appear. And when he does, then it might be the opportunity for this GW Panther to take a shot at him. And take him down. The only problem is, of course, the Griller can probably aim in faster than the GW can. Especially when he's going to have to turn his vehicle to face the gorilla. Because the gorilla is obviously in the direction I'm looking at the moment. Well, the gorilla's fired again. And missed. I guess he's guessing. GW says, where is he? And Zoe said, around E8. Well, that's where he was last time, but it wasn't the direction that we saw when she was taken out. He was actually probably closer to A5. And, oh, he's actually come down. He's very, very close now. There you go. He misses. Now, just drive up to him and shoot him. He's got a long reload. You might as well just drive up to him. And... Oh, he missed! How can you miss? Please, how can you miss? Now, just get close to the ridge line. He won't be able to shoot at you very easily there. Wait for the reload to go in. Wait till he gets really close. And then shoot. He misses. He loses it. And he rams himself to death. And Zoe was right. It was only 58 hit points. So they win the battle with an accidental ram by the gorilla. What a way to win the game. Well, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. 
It's an ace tank of Zoe Balls in the 105 FH18B2. And, uh, well, actually, I suspect that this was actually not on the NA server. I think this was on the, on the European server. And, yes, it definitely was her best battle in the FIFA so far. It's quite funny. She got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She managed to get 12. A fighter badge for getting at least four kills. She got five. A gorse medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of her own vehicle. And she got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle overall. So let's have a look at team score. There you go, top of the table, 2,293 hit points of damage. Next highest score was T67 on the enemy team with 1667. That was the guy who was capping. When it came to kills, again, so he's got the highest number, five kills. The GW managed to get three with that last kill on the Grilla. T67 and the M10 on the enemy team managed to get uh, three kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, well, she's got the top in all three columns. 1,250 base experience points for Zoe, 802 for the GW, 679 for the Thunderbolt. She fired 40 rounds, got 17 direct hits and 5 penetrations. She only had 2 rounds left at the end of the game. Both of them were AP. 14 splash as well. Damage of 2,293 hit points, of which 1,741 were at more than 300 metres. She received 3 hits and 2 of them were penetrations. 1 hit was the splash damage one. That came from the Gorilla, took her out the game. 2 enemy vehicles spotted, 8 enemy vehicles damaged, 5 killed and 768 hit points of damage assistance. And she managed to get 10 defense points when she took out the M12 in the cap. And that was a difficult shot because he was over a ridge line and she was trying to adjust the aim from above. And it was very, very, very difficult to get it accurate. On a premium count, she earned 40,622 credits, got 30,467 from personal reserve, total 91,400. Remember, this was a tier 7 game. She was tier 5 arty. She, after repair and ammunition respawn, remember, she did fire an awful lot of premium ammo, uh, expensive premium ammo, and just made holes in the ground. Um, she actually still ended up with a massive profit of 46,401 credits from that game. She received 1,250 XP times two for the first victory, 938 from personal reserves, 3,750 from personal missions payout, and 750, because this is a premium vehicle, took away 9,188 experience points altogether. So very profitable game for Zoe. Unfortunate she did get taken out, but there again... Uh, I think the thing was that she was desperately trying to take out that M12 and she didn't want to move. She wanted to get an accurate shot on him. And while she was dialing in on the M12, the gorilla was dialing in on Zoe. So, yeah, unfortunate that, but necessary. So nicely done by Zoe. She's got an ace tanker on this account. This was the funniest one so far. What a way to win for the uh, enemy RT to accidentally ram our guy and die in the process uh, if that ever does happen to you and you are up against another rt and he fires at you just drive straight towards him because obviously he's in reload you can get a point blank range shot right into the enemy and even if that fails to kill him with the first shot you can just nudge him and that will end the game in your favor just remember that next time because i've done that a few times as well in fact i drove up behind an enemy heavy tank in my m44 once shot him in the ass didn't kill him but uh once i shot him in the ass i then nudged him from behind and that killed him so it does work if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching